Lakewood Ranch High School parents and students. This short video is intended to help parents create a new Focus Parent Portal account so that they may access their child's Focus Gradebook. The first step in creating a new account is to access the website at focus.manateeschools.net forward slash A-U-T-H. Google Chrome is the recommended internet browser. Make sure that you have your child's student ID number as well as a valid email address. Before I show you the tutorial on creating a Focus Parent account, I wanted to show you an example of what the portal view looks like for the parent, and in this case with multiple children. This is just a photo for demonstration purposes only. This is not an actual student or parent's account. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on creating a new Focus Parent account. I wanted to leave you with a few helpful tips. In the upper right hand corner of the Lakewood Ranch High School homepage, you will see a Focus icon that will give you quick access to the parent portal. Consider Focus as a quick view of your child's grades. You should check the teacher syllabus for grading details as each course may have a different weighted category. Always keep an open line of communication between your child and the teacher. If there are any issues between uh, the teacher and yourself in grades, and you've already addressed that with the teacher, you can always contact the guidance counselor. For a complete list of all teachers and staff, you can locate them on the Lakewood Ranch High School website under the directory. You will have contact information and this is the best way to do so. After entering in the web address, I am now here at the parent portal registration. Uh, I have three options. Uh, I've never started an account. I have an account, but I'd like to add a child. Uh, or I have an account, but I forgot my password and I need a new one. Uh, at this point, I'm going to select here for creating a brand new account. I'm going to enter in all my information uh, here, including a valid email address and creating a password with a minimum of eight characters. All right, I don't have any students linked at this time, so I'm going to add a child who is already enrolled at a school. Uh, I'll enter the uh, child's student ID here, as well as the birth date. At this point, my child is registered uh, for me to have access. Um, if I have another child, I would simply uh, select add a child uh, or if I'm finished uh, at this point, I'm going to select here. I hope you enjoyed the presentation.